Hello, welcome back to the Villa View. Today we're visiting the club shop. Just have a little look at the new Luke Roper shirts and give you some information surrounding them so you can make your choice if you haven't already. I probably should mention that there's actually some building work going on at the moment, which isn't too helpful, but hopefully they'll quieten down while we're doing our video. Let's go inside. stood next to the home kit right now, the one I've actually ordered. Love, first impressions are that it's absolutely lovely. I'd, I'd go as far as to say it's probably the best kit we've ever had. You can just see that some real thoughts got into it. So the first thing you've got is you've got the 12 lines. So you've got four lines here on the one sleeve, four on the other sleeve, and then four going across the V-neck. That's 12 lines for those of you who are good at maths. So that shows that actually Villa were one of the 12 founding members of the Football League, so that's what that actually signifies. On the shirt, you've got the Luke 77 badge as well. Some people are probably a bit worried that being next to the Villa badge as well, it wouldn't really work, but to me, I don't think it really, really matters that there's two lines. If, any, if anything, I think it adds to it a little bit. One of the main features is the badge here. It's a completely different material to usual, so it's more rubberized, if that's a word. So you've got the AVFCs rubberized, the lion and the star are rubber as well, and then you've got the normal material making up the rest of the badge. 32 red are back for this season as well. Happy memories of when we had 32 red and we were a Premier League side, but we won't dwell on that. And then the normal standard shorts really with the, with the Villa badge there. Again, exactly the same formula as the shirt. And then you've got the Luke 77 logo as well and yeah overall i'm just really really happy with the shirt it's a throwback to the kit the villa war from 83 to 85 villa war this kind of shirt as a home shirt and I, i'm looking forward to getting hand, my hands on mine myself you've got the breathable vents there as well pretty standard stuff for a football shirt but i think it's important to note that last year actually we got given players kits to review which were slightly different to the ones that were sold in the club shop but actually this year there is just one standard shirt the players will be wearing exactly the same as the fans, and it's, it's not really a major thing, but it just sits better with me that the fans and the players are all one wearing the same thing. With Luke being a Villa fan, I actually expected him to do something like this, a throwback to a, to a more popular kit. And there's obviously the traditionalists that don't like that there isn't as much blue on the sleeves, but to me, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's just a lovely kit, and you can just see that so much more thoughts gone into it. I mean, I liked the Under Armour shirts, but, but really, has any thought gone into them? This is, this is specifically for Villa made by a Villa fan and I, I think it's a 10 out of 10 shirt. I think it's, it's absolutely beautiful and the reaction to it's been positive as well. So yeah, looking forward to getting my hands on it and looking forward to wearing it this season. So now with the away shirt, again, lovely, lovely shirt. High demand for a white away shirt after that third kit that we never used was actually leaked last year. So I think Luke Roper's taken that on board and wanted to do a white shirt and to be fair we've had a lot of white shirts over the years as well obviously winning the 1982 European Cup in one. Same principles you've got the lines on the sleeves and on the collar. Luke 77 badge and the Villa badge in the same place again rubber eyes with a claret 32 red at the front. You've got the faint white pinstripes I'm not sure how well that's been picked up on on the pictures but they're there as well. Didn't show this on the home one but authentic Luke Sport on the, I don't even know what that part of the shirt's called, but yeah, zoom in on it. And if we go around the back, this is the case on every one of the shirts. You've probably heard a lot about this. You've got the William McGregor, the nod to William McGregor on the back and the 130 years forming of the Football League on the, back, on, the, on the back of the shirt. So actually I fell in love with the home shirt instantly and I liked the white shirt, but now I actually see in person, I think I'm regretting my purchase of the home shirt a little bit because the, the white shirt in the flesh and having seen the players wear it as well on the weekend is actually really, really a lovely kit. And again, a, a 10 out of 10, I think these kits are just perfect for me. And again, the fact that they've been made by a Villa fan, it just sits well with me and the fact that no one else will have this style. It's not off a template, it's just off a genuine Villa fans designed who knows the club. I, th I think they're perfect. <laughs> For me personally, probably the least exciting of the three shirts, the goalkeeper shirt, although he has done a very good job. Again, I've just counted these lines here, so if I've done my maths correctly, there's 12 lines there, which I'm presuming are the same thing, same principle to do with the Football League and the 12 teams forming the Football League. You've got the yellow and black 
Luke Bajaz is the same on all the kits, but actually works probably even better on this shirt because, because you've obviously got the green and yellow colour scheme. Nice shirt, goalkeeper shirt. Obviously you'll see Jed Steer or Mark Budd with his dodgy toe as it stands. So it'll be interesting to see which one of them gets the number one shirt come the start of the season. I think it's probably up in there at the moment. I think, as you've already gathered, I'm in love with, with all the shirts. I think they're the best shirts we've probably had for a long, long time, maybe even the best in my lifetime, just because of the, the thought that's gone into them. And I think knowing that it's come from a Villa fan sits very well with me. I've had a few people tweet and ask if we could do a video with the kit, so obviously we've managed to do that, and thanks to the club. But a few people asked me about the fit. So these two here are mediums, which I'm presuming will be okay for me, and I'm hoping will be okay for me, because that's, that's what I've ordered. I'd say they're probably not as tight a fit as Under Armour. Under Armour renowned for having quite fitting shirts, although I would say that these are maybe more fitted than the larger character would like. But yeah, lovely shirts. I'd probably say not far away from the sizings of last year, but I won't be able to say for sure until I put one on myself. We will be recording a podcast on Wednesday, so that should be out on Thursday. If the delivery gods are kind to us, then Tom Julian and myself will have our shirts in the booth, so we'll be able to go into them with a little bit more detail and be able to tell you more about the fit and the look of the shirts. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you're giving it the big old thumbs up and also comment below with your thoughts on the shirt. How happy are you with the job Luke Rope has done? Are you as happy as me or do you not like them? Do you like them? Let us know in the comments below. If you're not already subscribed to the Villa View with your post notifications on, then if you could do that as well, that would be absolutely smashing. Stick with the channel, stick with the Villa of the Villa. If you enjoyed that video, why not watch another? Click the video choices on screen now to go and watch them in full. Be sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking our logo there on the left. Easy peasy.